Well, hello folks, welcome back. Um, this is the final episode in the Stefan Godswin to Indicator Holder build. Um, here's the state of play at the moment. I've um, I've parted off these two pieces off camera. Um, no need to show you that, it's pretty simple. Um, and I've, all I've got to do left on this now is make up a couple of washers, which should be straightforward, and put a dovetail in this in this clamp piece here. Now, I, I went through a few options for dovetails in the last video, and um, a friend and viewer um, got in touch with me, Harry. Uh, he knows who he is. Uh, thank you, Harry, for the offer. He's offered to um, make help me make a miniature dovetail cutter on his tool and cut grinder, um, which was a brilliant offer. And I was going to go around there yesterday and do exactly that. But before I went, in the morning, I hand ground, as a test, I hand ground a little dovetail cutter myself. I thought I'll give it a go and see if I can do it with my own equipment. And I'll give you a close-up of that, just a second. Well, I think that's about as close as I can get. Um, so this was just ground by hand on the bench grinder. And this tip is about... Um, three millimeters wide something like that and uh, this is the this is the result I was able to get on a piece of scrap and yeah it, it works a treat it fits on the back of the dovetail or the back of the uh, DTI but it's slightly too tight for the bottom one and if you check out some of the other videos other people have found the same Thing. So I'd need to open that dovetail up just slightly if I wanted to work on this. Now, this is a fake, this is a fake Michitoyo um, DTI that I got from from eBay, and it's I'm not that happy with it. It was it seemed to be great when I first got it, but it started locking up, and it's fine at the moment. But it was locking up recently, and I couldn't couldn't use it. So what I've done is I've ordered myself a nice indicator to go with this holder. It's um, it's actually a brown and sharp best test metric. And I'll show you a picture of that on screen now. And just to go back to the dovetail story, basically I'm going to use this little cutter um, and see if I can see if I can put a dovetail in this piece here. So I'm going to dismantle this and get it in the in the mill. And uh, we'll we'll go over and have a go. One more thing, I've started an Instagram account, which is kind of a trial run thing. I'm not sure whether I'll stick to it in the long term, but I'm trying it for now, and I'm quite enjoying it so far. Um, I'll give you a link on screen now and in the description below if you want to have a look at the Instagram account. And the main purpose of it for me will be a way of providing you guys with updates between videos. Sometimes. It's two or three or more weeks between videos, and sometimes it's a video every couple of days. So on those longer gaps, if I'm doing anything workshop related, I'll post anything that's a bit photogenic to Instagram, and you can stay up to date. Okay, on to the mill.
Well, you would have just seen me cut this dovetail. Um, all I've done is just deburr that slightly. And uh, just give it a tiniest little touch on the polishing wheel just to take any razor edges off. And it feels pretty good now. And the fit is. Pretty good. This must be tapered because it gets tighter towards that end. What I'll do is I'll keep this, um, I'll keep the dovetail cutter of course, and when the new indicator comes, if I have to open this up by a little tiny amount, then I can. I was um, walking that width in a hundredth of a millimetre at a time at the end, um, just to try and get a really snug fit on that, on that dovetail. And yeah, I couldn't be happier. And the way the lock works is like this. That's it. Right, well I've knocked up a couple of quick washers, there's not much going on with those obviously, it's just turned to diameter, drilled, uh, chamfered, and pied off to length. Time to assemble the lot. Well, there it is in one piece. You can see the uh, washers in here, they work well. Um, I am tickled just to have got this project finished because I'm rubbish at finishing projects, I'm great at starting projects. Um, I'll get a better picture of that up in the spindle. Thanks everyone for following along, it's been great fun. And especially thanks to Stefan for making these plans available. And thank you to Emma for the idea of a collaborative group uh, build. It's been really good, I really enjoyed it. Okay, see you in the next video.